Before we try to understand MapReduce, we'll need to do a recap of the previous video, which was Google File System. So Google File System is a distributed file storage system where each cluster is made up of hundreds or thousands of commodity servers and clients can use this cluster to read or write files in a fault tolerant and reliable manner. The files stored in this cluster are generally very large and thus this file is split into multiple parts and each part is called a chunk and these chunks are spread over these multiple commodity servers within the cluster and all this information or metadata about what files there are in the cluster in how many parts the file is divided and what is the location of each of these parts is stored by the component called GFS master. So let's say we are working on Google music team and using GFS we have stored the analytics or logs of all the times a particular song was played and our job is to find out the top 10 trending songs based on these analytics. So basically we just need to go through the log files and count which song was played how many times. The simplest way to do that is within the client application use the GFS, get all that data out and process that data. But there are a couple of big problems with this approach. Since these files are very large, we said that these files could range from hundreds of MBs to multiple GBs and there could be multiple such files. If we try to access all these files with and pull it out in the client application, it can stress our network bandwidth very severely. Secondly, if we have a single application, single client application, which tries to process multiple terabytes of files, it is obviously going to take a lot of time. So one solution to get around these problems is instead of doing all that processing within the client application, why not send that processing code, that processing function, which is counting of all the songs and pass it along to the servers which are storing the files. Using this approach, each of these servers can apply that function to the files that are there within that server. So in our case, let's say the first component, its log files has the count of 27 for song 1 and count of 54 for song 3. The other component might have song 1 count as 74, song 5 count as 66 and so on and so forth. So all this processing can happen in parallel and the client application can wait until this processing is completed. Once all the processing is complete, the final results can be sent back to the client application where the client can finally aggregate the individual results of all these servers. And this programming model where instead of taking out all the data from multiple servers, you push your code onto multiple servers and ask those servers to process or run that code is called MapReduce. And that is how multiple GBs or terabytes of files or logs or data can be processed in a very short amount of time because there are hundreds or thousands of servers working simultaneously or parallelly on individual parts of the file. Now the name MapReduce comes from two parts. The first one is the map function. So the processing function that the client passed is the mapping function. The mapping function will be go through the file one line at a time and for each song store it in a hash map, have a counter for each of the hash map keys and whenever you encounter the song again increment that particular count. The mapping function that we want each of these servers to run. The second part is the reduce function which is the aggregation of all the results of each of these individual servers. In all these servers, add the count of each of these servers, you will get the final count. So this is just a basic aggregation or summation of all the results of these individual servers. So in real practical implementation of MapReduce, we do not have client application doing all the coordination. We have a separate component called master, which takes care of it. So in this case, the client application just tells the master that here's my map reduce job, here's the functions of map and reduce. I want them to run on these files. The master will find out using the GFS 
where the files are stored or where parts of those files are stored on which servers on each of those servers it will start a separate process called worker process this worker process will take that particular function and start mapping or start processing the file on that particular server so using this we have avoided moving the files anywhere out of the box wherever file resides on the same server we are starting the process to work on that particular file or work on that particular part of the file the master all this while keeps track of how much progress has happened by using heartbeats so each of these workers will keep sending the heartbeat data and the percentage of progression that has happened until now also these workers will not send the results directly to this master instead they will save it on the local hard disk itself and they will only send the result file name and path to the master the master collects the file path of the results on all of these servers once the processing is complete the partial results of each of these servers are there on the local hard disk now instead of sending all that data to master and master doing the aggregation master will instead again create a few reduce workers similar to the map workers we had earlier on any of these servers and it will pass along the file path of all these partial results these reduce workers will distribute the tasks among themselves after final aggregation of all these counts even the final output will be saved somewhere it could be within the same gfs or it could be in any external database there are a lot of examples of map reduce jobs so one of the earlier examples is to create an inverted web index so when you search for a particular query or a particular search term google has an index of all the urls or all the html documents which has that particular query let's say all the html documents are stored in gfs as the crawled web data so in this case the map function could be just find out the word in the document and map it to that particular document url so in this case the map worker one has found the word lion in this particular url document tiger in this document cat in this document and so on and so forth the map worker two will do the same to the file that it is processing and the reduce job will aggregate all this and create a list of all the document ids for a particular word so in this case that word tiger was found in three urls so then whenever you search for tiger google can just list all these urls for you as part of the search results secondly after someone clicks on a particular url let's say just like google music analytics we have web request analytics so in this case we want to find out which url was clicked how many times again in the map task we'll just say for each of the url just have a count of how many times that url was clicked and in the reduce job we'll aggregate all that together and have an aggregated count of each of these urls and just like gfs we also have fault tolerance for each of these map reduce jobs so for example if while doing the processing if one of the workers goes down then the master thread using the heartbeats gets to know about it and it can assign some other worker on some other server to do the same processing and finally this map reduce job is much much faster than doing the sequential processing on the y axis we have the amount of data being processed and on the x axis we have the number of seconds it takes to process that much data so initially when the client submits the job to the master and the master is still fetching file locations and assigning the worker jobs and starting the worker processes it takes a time to start but once all the workers start working parallelly they can do a lot of processing within a very short amount of time uh, that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one bye